All right, everybody, what is up? Welcome back to Money's Funko Pops. I'm Justin. Danny. And uh, today we are doing the Lots of Toys to See uh, 10 Favorite Challenge. Mm -hmm. Is that how I should I should list that? Um, I was tagged by my dude James, uh, Samaj the Disciple. I asked Danny if she wanted to come on and do this with me, and uh, she happily agreed. So here we are. <laughs> And real quick before we get into it, guys, if you haven't already, make sure you scroll down below and you hit that subscribe button. And if you want to see more videos of both of us, just let us know in the comments below. So for this challenge, there are 10 different categories and we've each picked one, maybe two um, for each category of our favorites. We're going to alternate. We're going to go down the list. We'll each show our favorite from that category mm -hmm. and we'll keep it moving. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Woo. So first up on the list, we have our favorite flocked pop. My favorite flocked pop is the Flocked Trix Rabbit. This is from the 12 Days of Christmas two years ago. This came out in 2017. So yeah, this was just about two years ago. I just have always wanted this thing and I was able to work out a trade. I traded away three Walking Dead pops for it, which was even, but I really don't care about the Walking Dead anymore. So it really wasn't that sad to see him go. And my favorite Flocked Pop is the Flocked Fox from Harry Potter. I'll be completely honest and say that uh, this is the only flocked pop that I own, but I do love Harry Potter. I'm a huge fan. So this is actually from the San Diego Comic-Con from this year, um, 2019. So our second category is our favorite diamond pop. Um, so mine is Flounder it's from a good one. The Little Mermaid. It's a good one. Um, he is one of my favorite characters in general. I love The Little Mermaid. It's my, probably my favorite Disney princess along with um, Rapunzel from Tangled. It's kind of random to do Flounder out of all the characters as a diamond exclusive. Well, they actually did Ursula too, which I also have, but I just was trying to limit it to one. Oh, you're right. They did do Ursula. Yeah. Um, okay. A lot of diamond exclusives go to Hot Topic. So mine is actually another Hot Topic exclusive. And this is the diamond exclusive Chase Eeyore. I actually have a video of myself going out to hunt this thing. This is, I think this is one of the first videos I posted to this channel was me going out to hunt for this thing. Because this was, you had your regular Eeyore, which was the gray, gray, and then you had the chase one, which is this blue. Yeah. And I think the blue and the gold just contrast so well in yeah. this pop. It really is nice. And we kind of have a, a color scheme going yeah. on here. Let's hold it up to the camera, let's see. So you see we kind of have a blue and yellow theme going on here, which is kind of funny. So, uh, so I'll introduce this one really quick because I'm going to do none of the talking for this one. <laughs> I don't own a single movie moment. And the third category is your favorite movie moment. So I let her pick two of them. So the first one is the movie moment, the kiss the girl from The Little Mermaid. Like I just said, you know, one of my favorite movies. Um, I really like this one. It's a Target exclusive. We just recently got it. The Even the ground, like the, the base that they put them on is supposed to be like water. I like how Sebastian's in this because the common Sebastian pop now goes for like 50 bucks, which is nuts. Yeah. So this is a way of owning Sebastian, even though a little you have one. a little grill out there of Sebastian, which is kind of strange, but. So the next one I have is also from one of my favorite Disney movies. I have too many favorite Disney movies. So I just gotta stop saying that. This one is Hook in TikTok, which I think is really cool. Thanks for the sound effects. <laughs> Was this part of a box? That's what I'm saying. I believe I got this, which Disney did this thing where they had um, mystery boxes kind of thing. And they would put either, um, they would put like a, I think there was all pretty big pops in it. Disney started doing it on Disney's website at first. And then I don't know if it just wasn't going well or something like that. The Peter Pan ride in Disney is it's honestly one, yeah. probably my favorite ride. There's a hook pop already from like the older mm -hmm. Disney when they did Disney series that were just like a bunch of random Disney characters. Yeah. But this is the first TikTok. So the next category is our favorite animal sidekick. Yes. And mine is Nico so from cute. Pocahontas because you know I can't get enough of Disney clearly. We went to Disneyland in California last year, last, last summer. summer, and I walked around for maybe an hour and a half trying to find Pocahontas because I wanted to meet her. So I've never met Pocahontas, so I wanted to meet her and take a picture with her and whatever. We couldn't find her. The app kept saying, oh, she's over here. And we were waiting and waiting and I left and I was pretty upset. 
my favorite animal sidekick goes to Rocket Raccoon and Gru. No, I'm just kidding. That's not my favorite animal sidekick. I just thought it would be funny. My favorite animal sidekick goes to Pua and Hey Hey from the movie Moana. Uh, Moana is one of my favorite Disney movies of all time. Vince from Just a Geek from the 305 hooked me up with this a couple days ago. I'm not sure when I'm going to be posting this video, but he was the guy who hooked me up with this. So. Um, another member of the Funko Collector Society, so thanks Vince, I appreciate you. Let us know down in the comments what Hey Hey is, because I don't think either of us knows the difference between a rooster and a chicken. Yeah, I know the difference. <laughs> I thought he was a chicken, because they make a joke in the movie, but for some reason this pop looks like a rooster. Yeah. So the fifth category on this list goes to your favorite anime pop. She doesn't have any anime pops that she owns, but she picked a good one from a show that she watches, but we'll get there. Uh, we have Dark Magician Girl from Yu-Gi-Oh! And then we have just the straight up G, Dark Magician himself, which came out this past summer. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! was a huge part of my childhood. I used to play that game all the time. I had the video games, I have so many of the cards still. I still play Yu-Gi-Oh! with a couple of my friends and it was just such an easy pick for me to pick both of these guys as my favorite anime pops. Who are these people? This, these are, you, you, do you know Yu-Gi-Oh! at all? No. All right, so. There's someone named Yugi? Yeah. Oh. Did you get the pun? What? I said there's someone named Yugi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up. And my favorite anime pop, it's not mine, but I do love this show, so it's fun. Um, it's from Avatar, and it's Iroh. I love Iroh. Ever since I started watching, which I will be honest with you, was probably, it was this year or last year? It was this summer we started watching it. Yeah, yeah. we just started watching this summer because I had never seen it before and they were like, you have to watch it, you have to watch it. So I was like, Good okay, job. I'll watch it. And I like instantly fell in love with it. The character I really like loved the most was Iroh. So the next category we have is our favorite superhero pop. And mine is, lo and behold, another Disney one, Superhero Stitch. So obviously he's not really a superhero, but I just thought this would be funny because it's the pop and Stitch is one of my favorite Disney characters of all time. It's a pop in a box exclusive, mm -hmm. um, which I thought was really cool because I had never gotten a pop from there before. But the craziest yeah. part about this is that pop, when you order from Pop in a Box, it takes like three or four months for them to like fill the order and then ship it out. So you're ordering way ahead of time. Yeah. The first one showed up and then like a day went by and then two more boxes showed up and they sent me three of these things. So I gave the other two away as part of a giveaway because yeah. I was like, we don't need three of these. It's cool, but we don't need three of them. Mm -hmm. So that's her favorite superhero. Yes. Uh, you guys probably know what my favorite superhero is because of uh, the videos here on the channel, but of course it's gotta be Spider-Man. Um, you know, this is Spider-Man with Cap's shield from uh, Captain America Civil War. And this was actually part of a very clunky four pack that they released. And it was just so ugly. Like this is such a cool pop and they put it in that clunky uh, four pack. Yeah. So I commissioned this custom box for this Spider-Man from a cross-eyed collector on Instagram. I will never order custom boxes from anybody else. He does a great job. And you guys can't see it, but up here I actually got one for the Hawkeye that comes in that box as well. So, so of course my favorite hero had to be Spider-Man. So you know that my favorite villain has to be a Spidey villain. From the most recent Spider-Man movie, I gotta go with Mysterio. Uh, this just came out on Blu-ray a couple days ago and I was able to re-watch it and Jake Gyllenhaal just killed it he killed in this it. movie. He, really he was did. such a good Mysterio. And, it's also uh, really nice to look at too. I mean, just to see a live action Mysterio was just so surreal. And all the scenes they did with Spider-Man, like yeah. how they can fight 20 different Spider-Men and like the broken shards of glass. My favorite villain pop, it's actually a two pack. It's Ursula with Corella DeVille. It's a Hot Topic exclusive. Um, I thought it was really cool because it was a two pack. I do love both of these villains. As I said before, The Little Mermaid is one of my favorite Disney movies. Um, and I thought that this was just a cool combination to put them in and let me just tell you, the detail on Cruella de Vil is on point. Like, they have her cheekbones, they've got her green earrings, they've got her holding, like, her purse. It's so... I, 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 I can't even describe how great they did with her pop. So next on our list, we have our favorite couple pop. So I couldn't pick, so I have 
two couples? Wait, wait, wait. Four? No, no, no. She brought three couples. I did. And she's picking two of the three. The runner, the runner up is Chandler and Monica from Friends. But Monica with the turkey head. Okay, so this is the first one. So let me hold one for you. Yeah, I got it. So Pam and Jim. I picked the Chase Jim because why the heck not? Um, Pam and Jim. Honestly, they are such couple goals. I just love them so much. They're so great. And what she's not telling you is that she's the crazy person who is trying to 100% the entire office set. I'm at 99%. Yeah, we've gotten some <laughs> assists from people to grab the whole set. Yeah. We have the NYCC Dwight on its way. Shout out to Gary and Madeline for hooking us up with that. Yes, thank you so much for that. And then my second couple, you should not be surprised <laughs> that it's is. another Disney. Um, so Ariel and Prince Eric, and it's when they're at their wedding. So Ariel's in her wedding gown and Prince Eric is in his um, wedding outfit. <laughs> so these are my favorite couples out of the pops I have, um, except for Monica and Chandler, which I didn't include, but they're over there, so. In this household, we are Parks and Rec fans. So here we have Andy Dwyer and April Ludgate. So I have a few different couples in my collection. I have, you know, like uh, uh, Monica and Chandler and a few other I'm looking around. I have Bob's Burgers, Bob and Linda, you know. But I had to go with these two. Parks and Rec is my favorite television show of all time. It's always going to be my favorite. I have such a soft spot in my heart for all the different characters from that show. And it's so heartbreaking to me that they're not going to continue doing like Ben, Donna, Gary, Jerry, Larry, all the different characters from that show. Such good actors too. Seriously. Chris Pratt and Aubrey, Aubrey Pratt. Chris Pratt and Aubrey. Chris Pratt and Aubrey. Pra Chris and Aubrey. <laughs> Chris Pratt and Aubrey Plaza. Like they do such a good. <laughs> you got it. I thought you were gonna get it wrong. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Go. So the. So the second to last character. So the second to last topic we have is Halloween. My choice for Halloween is a Walking Dead pop. We got here Walker Sasha, which was a Funko Shop exclusive from, wow, 2017 this thing came out. That's nuts. We used to love this show and it went so downhill so quick. Ugh. Once they killed off Carl, I was done. I was completely Scott done. Scott Gimple ruined that show. But this is a cool looking thing. Another thing I love about this pop is that they put the yeah, blood splatter really on cool. the window with it. You have the blood in the front and then in the usual Walking Dead fashion, they put the handprint on the side, which is real nice. I'm a huge sucker for blood splattered pops. Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? I'll tell you. Yours don't have that, do they? Yours, no. yours would be kind of weird if they had blood splatter on the window, It would, it would be window, a little right? concerning if they did. My first one, I'm picking two because I'm indecisive, is the Care Bears. Don't judge me. So growing up, I loved the Care Bears and Halloween is my absolute favorite holiday. And then my second choice, you shouldn't be surprised it's another disney one <laughs> um it's stitch again he's one of my favorite characters and it's halloween stitch this just came out right uh, like about a month or so ago yeah a little a little while ago it's an fye exclusive again one of my favorite characters one of my favorite holidays could not pass it up the detail is really cool um it's he's a little vampire and uh yeah i love it this one took some debating yeah. Um, we both have pretty big collections. I'm like looking around, oh my god. I have what, 250, I think, Funko App says? Yeah. And you have a little I less have, than me, I think right? I have about 200. You, have, you hit the 200 mark already. Yeah. So uh, my birthday was in the middle of September mm -hmm. and I had uh, you orchestrated, <laughs> uh, my cousin DJ and uh, my friends, uh, Gamry, Adam, and Brad, to chip in to grab me the Hot Topic exclusive Chase uh, from Avatar The Last Airbender. Uh, this is Aang on his air scooter, and my boy glows in the dark here. I was able to go out and grab the Zuko Chase, which came in like a day before I left, but then of course I'm on the road in the morning and all the Hot Topics are posting. Yep. We got our Chase Aangs in, but even if I were to have gone, the lines were down the mall, it was crazy. It was just easier for me not to stress about it, so. I actually did that for him. I did that for you for your last birthday too, with. Oh yeah, should I, should I get him? I gotta climb to get him. So I go, ah, my funny bone! <laughs> oh, my funny bone! <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta climb up here to grab this thing because out of frame I have a baseball case that has a bunch of uh, chrome, oh, hold it, a bunch of chrome Marvel Pops that you guys can't see in a baseball case and I got him and Stan Lee on top of it. Um, 
God, man, my freaking funny ball. That was nuts. She had a hard time picking. Yeah, I'm also really an indecisive person, if you couldn't tell, because I picked like 14 different pops for each category. Um, so this personal grail thing was really hard for me to decide, but I think I picked a pretty good one. I think so too. That's a good one to choose. This is from the Harry Potter line, not Disney, preface. Um, from the Harry Potter line, and it is Moaning Myrtle. Now, I will say, she is one of my favorite characters in Harry Potter, and I know she's not, like, one of the biggest ones. This is from the San Diego Comic-Con of 2018, and she glows in the dark. I just think it's really cool because they have her in, like, the Hogwarts outfit, and, yeah, she really does glow in the dark. And they, uh, bo they both glow in the dark. Look at that. Oh, wow, look at us. They do. You're wow. right. Wow. Girl's glow is better than mine does. Anyway, and that was our top 10 list of this lots of toys to see uh, October challenge. I'm not sure the actual like challenge title, so I apologize if I'm missing that. But but shout out to lots of toys to see for setting up this challenge. I think we had a lot of fun doing this. This was pretty cool. Yeah, so it was pretty fun. <laughs> if you guys want to see us do more challenges like this, let us know down in the comments if you'd like to see Danny and I start doing more challenges like this. Because I had a good time. Yeah, it was good, fun. Yeah, it was fun. That was a lot of fun. Shout out to James uh, Samaj the Disciple for uh, tagging me in this. In case you guys didn't know, Danny runs an Instagram account called Disney Donuts and Danny where she posts Disney donuts and Danny. And another thing that I'm trying to do is once I get to a thousand followers, I'm hoping to do a giveaway. Go ahead and follow my page and help me get to a thousand followers. I'd appreciate it. Don't forget guys, if you haven't already, make sure you scroll down below and you hit that subscribe button. Uh, you don't want to miss out any of the content I'm frequently posting. I'm doing uploads like two to three times a week. So mm -hmm. uh, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope that we entertained you and we will see you soon. Thanks guys. Welcome to Money's Funko Pops, a YouTube page devoted to all things Funko. From covering events like San Diego Comic Con, to going out and doing random hunts just to see what I can find, I post relevant content to what's going on in the Funko community. There's something for everybody here at Money's Funko Pops. Subscribe to stay up to date.